let's say you came across this question in your jam exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says the number of atoms in one mole of a substance is equal to now this question is extremely very easy before we solve any question in chemistry it is important for us to understand the topic to which that question is from before we start tackling that question now from the look of things this particular question is from the topic in chemistry called mole concept it is a very important concept in chemistry all right so the concept for which this question is from is called the mole concept and i'm going to tell you why i said this now moving further the concept of mole understanding the mole concept properly will help you know how to solve question under stoichiometry as a topic so getting to know properly the concept of mole will help you solve questions under the topic called stoichiometry i know stoichiometry is all about calculations and i already have video lessons on my channel that explain properly on stoichiometry from the scratch all right and also explaining the mole concept so make sure after watching this video because i'm still going to you know talk about some few concepts under this aspect you know to tackle this question and at the end of solving this question i'm going to give you your own practice question so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section now moving further what do we do and how did i know that this question is from more concept i saw a very important word in this question and that word was mole so missing mole i already know that listen carefully one mole of a substance i'm not going to look at the board now because at the end of saying this i'm going to not tell you why i'm saying what i'm saying now so listen one mole of a substance is equal to what we call avogadro's constant or avogadro's number just listen so you can see from what i just said we'll be able to solve this question all right one mole of a substance is equal to avogadro's number that's the same and this is the answer to the question but it is important for me to explain to you why the answer is actually avogadro's number so listen carefully so on the more concept if you watch my full video lesson on stoichiometry where i explain everything you must know on more concept and as well as solving questions on this aspect so listen there are several formulas under the mole concept because this word mole mathematically it is pronounced as number of moles are you there mathematically mole is pronounced as number of moles are you there because we have to understand this question mathematically so you see why the answer is actually a regardless number so listen number of moles is symbolized as n are you there now this n you are looking at is given by different formulas so there are many formulas basically just five formulas you must know for number of moles listen this question is very simple now i'm going to just write one out of the five so for more understanding on this number of moles it's important for you to watch my video lesson on stoichiometry which will be on the screen so after watching this video make sure you watch that video so i'm going to write just you know one out of the five and the one i'm going to write is based on what we were given listen let me read the question again the question says the number of atoms wow they are asking me to get the number of atoms they're asking me the number of atoms in one mole of a substance is what are you there so it's actually the avogadro's number just listen so there is a formula whenever i see number of atoms there is a formula that i must take note of on number of moles specifically on this so that formula is simply n is equal to because i saw number of atoms the formula is actually n which is number of moles is equal to number of atoms listen number of atoms divided by a constant called avogadro's constant and that constant is 6.02 times 10 raised power of 23 so this thing i just wrote down is called what avogadro's constant 
Please listen carefully, or if not call it Avogadro's constant, we simply call it Avogadro's number. So from this question, they are asking the number of atoms. The number, but when they say the number of something, means what is that thing? The number of atoms, you know, in one mole of a substance is what? All right. So the number of atoms means that we are to make the number of atoms subject or formula in this particular question. So number of atoms will not be equal to because it's important for you to understand why all of these things are like this because they can twist the question. So number of atoms now we will not be equal to when we cross multiply. We are having n times this. Hope you know. So when you are making this subject, you cross multiply. You are having this times this divided by one. But since one is nothing, just this times this. I believe you understand. So it's going to be n times 6.02 times 10 raised of 23. Remember, what is that number? That is Avogadro's number. So what becomes number of atoms? So number of atoms will not be equal to n is number of moles. And from this question, we were given to be one. You can see it now. One moles. Are you there? So one moles is the number of moles. So for n, I'm going to put one. So one times this same number, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, we are to get the same number. So number of atoms will not be what? Listen, number of atoms one times will not be one times. Sorry, one times this is still 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. Do you understand? Because what we are looking for is number of atoms so the, the number should be in atoms so in summary what am i trying to say i'm trying to say that the number of atoms in one mole of a substance always is equal to the Avogadro's constant because at the end of solving for the number of atoms mathematically what did we get we got the Avogadro's constant number again do you understand that's why this is a popular saying that the number of atoms of a substance is same as the Avogadro's number do you understand what's happening? So all this must be noted. So get ready for your own practice question, whereby I'm going to just change the question and as well change the options so you understand. I'm going to give you two questions here. Okay, guys, moving further, here is your own practice question. So you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. You can see the question, it says, the number of atoms in two moles now of a substance is what? Don't get confused, it's simple. Now, it is two moles. So what becomes your number of atoms? Relating it with your Avogadro's constant. I've already explained everything for you that in this case There is a formula for number of moles that relates to number of atoms, which is this Then you make your number of atoms subject because they're asking the number of atoms. What is the number of atoms? Do you understand? So let's see what you get and let's see the answer the options that corresponds to your answer This question is simple. So get ready for the second practice question. Okay guys Here is your other practice question. You can see this one now the options are in mathematical expressions whereby now it's question two the number of atoms in three moles of a substance is equal to they are still acting for number of atoms so that's why it's important for you to know the formula that relates moles that relate you know when you see moles you change the number of moles mathematically the formula that relates number of moles and number of atoms and i've given you two i've given you the formula already which is number of most is equal to number of atoms of Avogadro's constant. So they're asking the number of atoms, so you make the number of atoms subject of formula and you get your answer. Remember, there are other formulas for number of moles. This is just one out of the five. So that is why it's important for you to go watch my video lesson on stoichiometry. So you see the remaining four formulas and know how to solve questions when you see them on all of these aspects. So we'll come to the end of this lesson. If you find my video lesson helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my videos with your friends, thanks for watching. Have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions. I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen.